Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with another video. Um, if you like the videos that I do, please consider subscribing and also make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It does really help. So today we are going to do some cards which are relatively simple and quick. You don't need tons of supplies. We're going to sort of centre it on watercolours. Now they can be whatever you have. Um, I have some watercolours. You can also use any distress inks, distress oxides, whatever you prefer to use for watercolouring. So the first card, what we're going to do is I've got some watercolour paper. Use whatever you have. And I've cut a piece because what I'm going to do is... We're making a DL card with this. This is the watercolour paper, but I'm going to use the reverse, which is the smoother side. OK, and I've got my watercolours. I'm just going to give them a little spritz with some water just to sort of get things going. Um, whatever paint brushes, whatever you've got, just grab them. I want to make a sort of rainbowish colour and it's going to come down. So. I am going to go for the red. I think I've got some in here as well that I was using yesterday. So I can just use that as well. You can give your card a spritz as well just to sort of, you know, get it a bit damp. And I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to have red and there's no really rhyme or reason. It's just sort of get the colour down any way you like then I can come back to them and you know I can sort of add darker bits or whatever I want to do it's entirely up to you so I'm going to keep doing this with the different colours and I'm going to go for the yellow again I've got some here from yesterday I'm going to start the yellow. This is all I'm doing, really. And then I'm going to go for the green. I think it was is it this green here. No, it wasn't. That's blue, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's this one here. I'm quite happy with that and then I can you can give it a little sort of dry off with your heat tool so I'm pretty happy with that and then you can pick any stamp set you've got I'm gonna go for this beautiful honeydew crafts the big one I've got it in my platform Just make sure that it's all dry a bit off there. Okay. And then I'm going to heat emboss this. And I'm going to use white embossing powder. That is so pretty. And then I am going to add some white splatters. Just with some acrylic paint and a bit of water.
and also a little bit of metallic sort of gold paint as well. That is basically it. I will quickly let this dry off and then we will mount it onto a card base. There we go. I just put some black card behind the watercolour, then I put it on a DL card and I just added so happy to hear of your exciting news. Congratulations. Now that is super easy, super simple, quick, but very striking, I think. So we'll move on to another. Okay, so another one we're going to do is I did sort of a reel on Facebook, I think and Instagram the other day with something similar to this. And but this time we're going to use watercolours because in that one I used ink. So I've just took some masking tape. I'm using the same watercolour card. I'm using the reverse again and I've just masked a panel. I'm going to use this stamp set here um, and I'm just going to create a sort of coloured wash type of thing. Um, again you can use whatever you use for watercolours or whatever you prefer. So I'm just going to pick some colours. I might go for this blue Go for a green. Honestly, that will do. Of course, you can have it any colour. I'm going to give it a quick dry off. And I'm going to peel the tape away. And then I'm going to just stamp the stamp somewhere like that. And I'm just going to use some black VersaFine ink for that. Then I'm going to take this white paint again and just a small little brush and I'm just going to go over some of these sort of like little well like dandelion pieces and just make them white. You can go over it a couple of times obviously but you need to wait for the first coat to dry.
we go. I think that looks really, really pretty. And then I'm going to also take some of the white paint that's left. Just make some little splatters with it. just going to quickly let that dry off and then we will add it to a card and a sentiment. Okay so I just stamped a little sentiment and I popped it onto a craft card base and that is basically it. I want to show you one of the few more of these I've been doing. Um, this was just a yellowish and orange and I think that might have been a distress oxide. Um, this was definitely Distress Oxide and this was, um, I did this one on a <clears throat> Facebook reel the other day and I wanted to show you a similar one that is done with watercolour like what we've just done with there. So there is a couple more ideas for you there. So we'll move on to another one. Right, so this one, dead easy. Um, I've got again a piece of watercolour card and I'm using it this time on the sort of textury side. I've picked a couple of colours. I've gone for purple and blue but you can use any colour you want, okay? So I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to pick up some of this purple. And all I'm going to do, hold on, I'm actually going to put it on a bit of paper. I'm going to kind of just attempt to draw a circle. Now, don't worry, it doesn't have to be anything, <laughs> you know, amazing. It really doesn't. So, just a kind of what would be a circle or thereabouts. Honestly, don't worry about it. And then I'm just going to sort of paint round the outside. And then what I might do... Is take maybe a sort of lighter purple or the actually no the blue and I'm going to go in the middle with the blue so it's a sort of like two-tone color and don't worry because we can go around and sort of fiddle with the colors you know later on if we want to and then I'm gonna just continue to sort of you know just draw like random little circles I'm gonna have another one sort of here they don't even have to be perfect circles don't worry about that it's not meant to be perfect you know that's not what we're trying to achieve again I'm gonna go in with some of the blue in the middle you can just make sort of you know different sizes this one I might draw a small one do this one with purple in the middle 
So I'm going to quickly dry this off with the heat tool or you can actually just let it dry itself. It's up to you. And then all you're going to do is take some kind of like a fine liner, like a black marker pen. And we're just going to literally draw sort of like, you know, like little squiggles around it or just give it like interest really. see what I mean it's just about having fun and I think that actually looks really really nice it really does yes do you agree Kitty Kitty, I think Kitty agrees. She likes it. Don't you, Kitty? All oh, that was was a bit of watercolour and a pen. And then you can just grab a sentiment. Um, give me a second. Okay, I've grabbed a sentiment, which is just create your own destiny. And I'll put it in here only because of the, with the card being really textured, it might take a couple of times to stamp it. So that's going to go on there. And I'm just going to do it with Versafine ink. I think that will do. I think that is so pretty. Particularly with adding the different colours, it's, you know, sort of gone different colours, which I think looks really, really nice. So, we get a card base. There we go, just put it again on another craft card. I really, really like that one. <laughs> you could have fun with so many different colours, putting them in different patterns, you know, just different sort of orientation whatever you want to do so we grab the few that we've made and I think they're so simple but they are really really pretty that was my favorite I think it's this one now and um, I will be doing some more reels on Facebook Instagram and um, so make sure you follow me on Facebook and check them out and even Instagram. The links will be under the video. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed them. Um, thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.